Right people, we have new details regarding the colours to expect, with the iPhone 15 range, so let's delve into it. Now I must emphasise that colour leaks in the past have been a hit and miss, there were pretty credible sources regarding a deep purple for the 14 Pro that of course, we did end up getting but before that, there were rumours there would be a new rose gold finish for iPhone 13 Pro that was completely false. We also heard about orange for both the regular 13 and 14, but both those regular models never got those so ultimately take all of this with a grain of salt. These are leaks at the end of the day and not concrete information so this could all easily be wrong. With that being said, this comes from a relatively new Weibo source, so do make note of that, but they begin by doubling down on things we've already heard about. So for example, they say the regular 15 and 15 plus are going to get a frosted finish on the back, similar to the pro models. And we've already heard about this before, I'm pretty excited about this because the frosted finish looks much nicer and also gets rid of those nasty fingerprints. Also right now, some of you guys might have noticed that on the pros, the camera bump is glossy and the back is frosted, and it's the complete opposite on the regular models, with the back being glossy and the module being frosted. However, this new change likely means all camera modules on the 15 range should now be glossy and will likely collect tons of dust around the lenses. And by the way, would like to remind you guys, like this video and subscribe for more content like this, it would be appreciated. But coming to the colour options, the source says the regular models will come in red, midnight, starlight, blue and green. Now interestingly, there is no mention of the hot pink we've heard about from 9to5Mac, but blue and green has been reported by other sources. So what I'm thinking could be the case is that we see one of these rumoured new colours during spring instead since Apple for the last few years has been releasing five colours at launch and then one extra colour during spring and so it's likely we're going to end up seeing blue, green and pink for the 15 series by March or April. Now for those wondering how these colours could look, we actually have hex codes for the blue and pink colours we can expect. It's CE3B6C for the pink and ODB1E2 for the blue and these are pretty nice shades, they're not pastel colours like we've had for a while, they're bright and saturated and very much reminds me of the iPhone XR range which still has the best set of colours for an iPhone in my humble opinion. And actually fun fact, my favourite iPhone colour to ever exist is the blue iPhone XR and I do regret selling this years ago so maybe just to have another light blue iPhone, I could see myself buying the regular iPhone 15 for absolutely no reason because I already have the 14 Pro Max, so this would be a pointless purchase. But yeah, I kind of want a light blue iPhone again. Now, we don't have a hex code for the green, but a more credible Weibo source has mentioned it should be similar to the iPhone 12 green, which in my opinion does not make a ton of sense. While I do prefer this shade of green compared to the iPhone 13 green, it would be pretty odd to have this pastel green alongside the very saturated pink and blue so I would not be surprised if the green shade we end up getting is a lot brighter and more in your face. However, you could argue that Apple just doesn't care about shades matching in the range. For example, the iPhone 13 had the very light pink and the very dark green which did not match in the range. So I guess a shade similar to the iPhone 12 green could come to iPhone 15. But to be fair, considering we've had so many iPhone generations with these boring pastel colours that barely look like the colour they're meant to be, Apple should really go back to the iPhone XR days. I feel like the colours on the regular models have consistently got worse with each passing year, so yes Apple please give us bright and punchy colours for the 15 range. Also Apple please just give us black and white back, I'm still annoyed that midnight and starlights are a thing because I'm not a fan of the purple and gold hue they have respectively in some lighting so just give us a proper black and white option for the regular iPhone, they would look a lot cleaner in my opinion. Now moving to the regular models, the source says we could see a deep space black, gold, silver and another mysterious colour they're not aware of. However, remember 9to5Mac actually told us we could see a deep red with the 15 Pro and the hex code for this is 410D0D and yeah, this looks pretty good and fits with the Pro aesthetic. In fact, it very much reminds me of the burgundy shade Samsung used to have with their phones. It certainly does look classy, so I'm hoping this does materialise. It would be a nice shade for the iPhone. I do want to mention though that Apple has had issues anodizing the steel on the Pro models 
In fact, we've heard a few tidbits regarding a Red Pro iPhone in the past, but because they could not achieve the red finish on the rails, it was completely scrapped. Now maybe titanium changes things and it's easier for Apple to get the finish they want, but considering the Apple Watch Ultra did not come in multiple colors, there's a chance we don't get this, so let's see what ends up being the case. Now I do also want to mention the source does interestingly say we're getting a deep space black, so are they suggesting the black's getting even darker with the 15 series? Well, we can't know for sure, but I would love to see that because as someone with a space black iPhone, I can definitely tell you guys, this is really not that black. While the rails definitely fit the description, the back is gray most of the time. And while I don't hate it, a proper matte black option like Samsung gives us would be appreciated. So that's all the latest regarding the colors. And yes, ultimately colors aren't that important because they add no functionality to the device but I care way too much about this, so I'm always eager to hear about what kind of plans Apple has for the iPhone 15 colors, and hopefully we get a great selection. Anyways, let's delve into your comments. So James N says, I think the pros will be getting the second gen stack sensor, especially if there's a price increase over the regular models, and I'd prefer 5.8 inch on the regular models. How about 5.8 inch and 6.3 inch on the regulars, and 6.3 inch and 6.9 inch on the pros? Red Plus Pro and Ultra. Now regarding the cameras, yes, it's most likely the pros get the upgraded 48 megapixel stack sensor, but I'm still hoping the regular models also get this. It would be nice if we once again have the same sensor across the range. And ultimately, if the regular models get this, the pros would still have the better ultra wides and of course periscope on the Pro Max. Plus, you get things like Pro Raw and Pro Res, which the regular models likely will never get. But even if it's the 14 Pro sensor, the great thing about this being 48 megapixels is that it should give us much better zoom on the regular models. Remember, Apple gave us a 2x option on the Pros by cropping into this massive main sensor. So, of course, this could now come to the regular models, which is awesome news because they don't have a telephoto lens. And so this should give us optical quality zoom finally on the base models. Now regarding size options, I definitely would not mind the 5.8 inch size returning to the iPhone range, since it would be a nice middle ground between the mini and of course the current 6.1 inch size. But maybe because of the mini not doing so well, Apple would rather stick to just making massive phones that are likely going to appeal to more consumers. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. And thank you for watching.